Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. What happens when you take an already fast phone like the Galaxy S3 and put the fastest version of Android on it, 4.1 Jelly Bean? Well, we're going to find out in this video. I've got the Samsung Galaxy S3 here running CyanogenMod 10 Alpha, kind of a beta alpha, very early release, but it's pretty darn fast. And we're going to see how Project Butter looks and feels on the Galaxy S3. Let's get to it. Okay, so here we are. This is the Galaxy S3. This is the international quad-core version, but there are builds of CyanogenMod 10 early previews out for all versions of the Galaxy S3, whether you're on T-Mobile, AT&T, Sprint, or Verizon. Uh, again, it's early software. You have to be rooted. We'll put a link up on the video so you can get back to the How to Root Galaxy S3 video if you haven't done that yet. So I've been using this for about 24 hours, trying to figure out if it's good enough, if it's fast enough. I was really curious to see how Jelly Bean which is the fastest version of Android works on the Galaxy S3 and so far so good. I'm really pleased. Let's just move around real quick. I definitely want to get into the web browser and also show you how this version of Jelly Bean compares to a more official version of Jelly Bean that I've been using on the Galaxy Nexus here. So we'll just move around. We get that buttery smoothness. Go into the app tray. Boom, no animation. It just comes up immediately, which is fantastic. Uh, so let's move around a little more. Folders open super quick. Uh, we've got the, the UI operating at a very high frame rate, triple buffering, uh, a, a lot of technical stuff going on, which basically just means that everything is super duper fast. Now, a little note here, we've got Google Now, but Google Now doesn't work like it does on the Galaxy Nexus. On the Galaxy Nexus, you slide up from the bottom and boom, there's Google Now. On the G GS3 here, what you have to do is put a shortcut, or at least this is what I found, because a swipe up from the bottom does nothing. You put a shortcut to Google here, which you can find in the app tray, and that will launch Google Now as you've expected it to work. So let's jump into the browser, really try to see how the performance is here on the Galaxy S3 running CyanogenMod 10. We're going to go to a complex website. We're going to go to Engadget, and we are over a Wi-Fi network here right now, so it should be fast. Okay, that is ridiculously fast, but that's too easy. That's the mobile site. Uh, let's go to their desktop version, which is very long, has a ton of images. And before it's finished loading, I'm going to move down the page. No checkerboards. Pretty impressive here. Smooth. Uh, the scrolling is super duper smooth. Uh, moving down the page, I don't see any hesitation whatsoever. So we're going to go to Engadget. Kind of hard to type from this view. We get the mobile version, also very smooth. Jelly Bean does some really good things. Don't want to do that. Let's go back, accidentally hit that button. Go to the desktop view. And before it's done loading, we're going to try the same test. We're going to flick around the page. And it's pretty good. A little bit of white boxing or checkerboarding going on, but uh, not too bad. On the Galaxy S3, they're both very, very smooth. And of course, on the Galaxy S3, you're getting more vertical pixels because you don't have this button bar here. You've got the bars on the bottom. Speaking of the, the buttons down here, let's see multitask. So tap and hold over here. A little bit faster, actually, on the Galaxy S3, even though on the Galaxy Nexus, there's a button dedicated for it. But super fast, no hesitation. I mean, it, it looks good on both devices, but the Galaxy S3 is a little extra interesting because you've got that bigger screen uh, and, and a higher resolution display in terms of the usable space because there are no buttons on the bottom. So, so far, so good with the, the preview version of CyanogenMod 10 on the Galaxy S3. Uh, there will be nightlies coming out for this, so there will be fixes to the little bugs that still exist. Another little bug here you might have noticed is that in the app tray, I've got two cameras. I've got two galleries. I don't know why. It's not that big of a deal. I can ignore them, but it's, you know, it's a, it's a hint that there are some bugs with it. So we'll put li links up on how to get Jelly Bean for your Galaxy S3. I highly recommend you do it if you're brave enough to root your phone and deal with a couple of bugs. But I've been using this for 24 hours, like I said, and so far, so, so good. It's dramatically increased um, the speed of the Galaxy S3 compared to even CyanogenMod 9, a stable version I was running just, uh, just a couple days ago. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and thanks for watching. That's it for now.